Well, hey, YouTube. It's Elvis Ammo here. Hey. Today, I wanted to kind of do a uh, kind of a wrap-up video on on all of this uh, on all of these uh, temperature um, controls for the Lee 420 pot. And uh, in the last two videos that I've done. Um, you know, it was more about the process and and uh, and and using the PID controller and all of that kind of thing. And I listened to um, many of the responses that you guys had and the experiences that you guys had um, with your pots. And I thought, why not do a wrap-up video using two pots? So this video will be about the tail of two pots and let's see how close they are in relationship to each other. This one being a brand new pot and this one being a pot that's probably run, I probably cast, I don't know, since I had this pot, particular pot, it's probably run probably close to 20,000 castings. Um, out of that pot right there. So, uh, so this, uh, so this pot, um, the, um, a as I'm speaking right now, the test is over. So, um, the t this test has lasted over three hours, you know, bringing you back, bringing you back, showing you the temperature settled in. And I thought I would give you the wrap up of the video and a new intro. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing because I don't think there's any sense in giving you all them same details that you've already seen um, the process in the last two videos that I did on the subject. Um, so uh, this pot um, starting out at the uh, I, I started both of these pots out on number eight and this pot uh, melted the same amount of lead about eight or ten minutes faster than the old pot did number one uh, number two at that high of a temperature the temperature of this pot was <clears throat> was um, almost 80 degrees hotter than the old pot and then as you will see in the next clip where you get to see the wrap up and the numbers um, these pots all start uh, both of these pots started coming in a lot tighter on the same temperature so you will see that uh, that these pots can control the temperature in my opinion um, as well as we need them to at the at these temperatures that I'm going to show you um, for casting bullets you know now this is uh, is definitely a tool that has been um, you know just a, a, a godsend you know for for me personally because I've been able to conduct some testing and that was the exact same reason that Johnny had sent me this PID controller for for testing and uh, and I appreciate that because boy it has become a good testing tool and I got a feeling I'm not nowhere near done using this to uh, to help me and all of you so uh, so anyway um, that's the uh, that um, we started out with three quarters of a pot and on each of these and you'll get to see the numbers on them and uh, and from what I've seen the numbers that you guys have been sending me in uh, in the comments um, this is going to uh, this is going to sh to correlate pretty pretty well with some of the numbers that you guys have given me. So the tail of two pots. All right. So the uh, the old pot set on three point five, settled in at uh, at six hundred and seventy five degrees. Now this test has lasted over a period of about three hours. Um, so 
I mean, it, as as not perfect. It, it's not perfect, but it, this this test is really kind of meant to give us just a better understanding and a better idea because sometimes uh, you know um, we're left with more questions and answers on on videos I have more information coming out on this sort of thing and um, and I know there's going to be more questions about it but you know this is uh, this is kind of where we come out to uh, Right now, you're seeing the old pot at 675, and the new pot was 690. So, if we look at this paper right here, old pot, new pot. So you can see that whole paper right there. There's no sense in me reading it off to you. I uh, move my thumb, I guess. Kind of hard for me to see, but um. You know, this is kind of what we come up with, but I'm putting it here just in case somebody wants to pause and look at it. But um, you know, you got the old pot. Um, the you know, some of the stuff that we go over and look at, some of the testing and stuff that I do. Sometimes it takes me a while, you know, to conclude and deduct different things that had happened during the process. But you know, what it looks like right here um, is at seven you know the spread was 945 to 985 with the new pot being hotter um so the the spread right there you know it, it seems to me like it keeps uh narrowing as we go down 945 985 916 970 um 885 920 845 880 See, as we start approaching the lower numbers right here, you know, we're only, you know, 35, 40 off. And then as we get to 5 on the dial, then, I mean, we're only 10 degrees off. And at 4.5, you know, again, we're only 15 degrees off on 4.5 on the dial. And then 4 on the dial, <clears throat> we're at... 735 and 740 five degrees 3.5 where we're at right now see everything everything seems to kind of tighten up um as we brought the numbers down and obviously <clears throat> i can only turn the dials you know so well on the top of the pot you know to kind of match them up but the cool thing is it seems to me like the pots these pots actually hold the temperature fairly well. Um, if anything that I've seen at all is it seems like for the most part during this test, for the most part, um, it seems like they might be just slowly dropping a tiny bit. But some of the uh, misconceptions about the lee pots and the dials on top trying to control the temperature is impossible. But I'm not sure if it's impossible. It's not as perfect, obviously, as having a computer do it for you on a PID machine, on a PID controller. But these things actually hold temperature very well. And for some of the guys that have no idea where the temperatures are on their pots, that's kind of why I'm offering this kind of thing. Um, some folks don't have... I'll be honest with you, I've never put a thermometer in my lead pot ever um so i find all of this intriguing that i'm actually able to see the temperature and kind of make something of it and maybe share it and uh that's it the tale of two pots one old pot one new pot and you know how they fare out obviously the new pot is stays a little bit hotter than the the, the new pot stays a little bit hotter then the old pot, I mean, that kind of is a no-brainer, I guess. We expected that, maybe. But uh, for some of you guys looking for a ballpark figure, I think we have it right there. YouTube, I'll see you in the next video.